Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Spelunky. Get all of the frustration out of your system. Deep breath. <gasps> In and out. Let's do it. This time with even less death than before, which is hard to do considering that we died multiple times on the last run. And we didn't die once when we should have, but we will try to do better. And we will try our damnedest to have a successful Neo Babylon this time, unlike the last run where we just got completely crushed. Oh, the elevators, man. It's not the first time that's happened, which makes it like super frustrating because I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. That's all right. One day we'll, we'll get this done. This, this weirdo challenge of, I don't know, trying to get the game's true ending, if it even is a true ending. I don't think it really counts as a true ending doing all of this uh, nonsense, trying to get the bow to the the lair of Hundon. But we'll still try. I mean, the thing is, is that the, the issues I've been having lately haven't even been related to the bow. Well, except for the one time it was. The arrow, specifically. A lot of my issues lately has have just been, hey, live. <laughs> Don't die. What, you can't do that? Excuse me, I thought you were an expert Spelunky player. No, you got the game wrong. Expert Gungeon player. Different title. Yoink. I do love, like, a weird free crate being here. Don't run at me. Oh, my God. You ran at me, and then you tripped on the arrow, too. That just, like, is insult to injury. Like, you think you're going to take me out? You think what was lacking here was that, you know, one of you would have the ability to get me? You trip on an arrow? No, you dead, you dead fool. Might as well get the turkey now. Whoops, one, two, jump. I mean, he's right there. We have five HP, he's right there. We should really just deliver the turkeys. I kind of hate this. How did you die? Do the turkeys have spike shoes? <laughs> is, is that what happened there? I didn't realize turkeys all had spike shoes on, but hey, you know, lessons learned. We can buy one bomb box. That's good enough. We could also like, Okay, hear me out. We can also keep a turkey around. Maybe get a little bit more gold and then go back in there. I don't know, it's possible. I don't know if we can get enough gold for like another bomb box, but I would do it given the opportunity. I mean, if we get a bomb box, we don't have to buy bombs when we, when? If we hopefully get to uh, to the black market or something like that. Oh, oh. So we're definitely delivering turkeys to see if we can get some items. And you know what? For a crate, it's probably worth it. For a parachute, it's probably not worth it, though. <laughs> Good lord. Connie asks, Abe, did you get all the shortcuts done? I did, I guess I can't go back up there, huh? I did all of the shortcuts, including the one that required hired hand in the key. So, shortcuts have been done in Spelunky for me. This is a weird one, but we gotta do this, then we get in here, then we buy. We can't afford the discount, which sucks, but that's okay. At least we have 34 bombs, and hopefully we'll get paste. Ding, ding, ding. I'll do it. Excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. We could always use bombs to get through this, but I don't think we need to. We know what we're looking for here. We're, we know what's gonna happen. Got the key. 
Key is an easy good get. It means you know that you're gonna have the Ujedi on the floor, you're not gonna miss it accidentally. I thought for a second that that block on the left was actually an arrow trap and I almost pissed my pants. It's also another shop. Dude, you're, you're, you need to stockpile more good things in single shops. I don't have the opportunity to buy anything. I need, oh. No gold? Well, we're gonna come back up here. Like, I don't have the money anymore to buy anything. What, what a shot. What a shot. What a shot, what a shot, what a shot, what a mighty fine shot. Well, no reason not to just do this. Grab it, go, we'll get the paste. Paste with 34 bombs early. We have the, uh, the Ujet Eye, which means we can get all of the, uh, the gold in the ground if we want, and then we can just buy more stuff. Like, even right now, like, we could leave, or we could just, like, farm up gold for another bomb box. Or we could farm up gold and then, uh, ghosts if we really wanted to. Probably shouldn't, though, but... You know, the possibility exists. The possibilities are endless. I think of what I'm actually gonna do though is just get the compass. <laughs> you know, I uh, I was gonna say, I actually do like the idea of ropes as well. So you know, if I um, come over here, bomb this, it might give me a passage up. No, but I will use a rope for this because there's some gold here. We couldn't access this anyways, so one bomb to access is, is not bad. Ah, there's the ghost pot, so that's worth 5k. And we're not gonna buy the bombs, we're just gonna buy the ropes and then and then get out. Because this is what we need. Again, I would love to like buy out the shop, we just barely don't have enough money to really make it possible. We just need more cash. Even though we have 31 bombs, paste, and we purchased like six things from shops in general. It's pretty good. Love that. Again, not like we need more bombs, but still love it. I hate these skulls, man. They're way too brittle. You know what, we do not have, sorry dog, we do not have the, uh, key, so we might as well do this looking for it. Just be careful with the dog. So I also really do think that we should just kind of do a little bit of mining, you know? We need to make we need to make up the resources that we we don't have right now, which is money. <laughs> I love this. This is a great roll. One flip of roll. You go down. What? He didn't go down. Highly unexpected. Thank you. It's like at the exact right distance where he doesn't actually go down the hole. <laughs> he just does a little hop at the end. I need you to go down, my friend. He's not even gonna do it now. No, he did. Beautiful. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, he fell. Very dangerous. You don't really know what's down there. Still wanna kill him for the bombs if, if possible. Like, oh! Got him. For the bombs and the HP, I think I'll do it. 
We do have to, like, move quickly, though. I'll use a rope to get out. We got enough ropes. This! Let's go! We're gonna save time. Because we are out of time! Damn it! There's also, unfortunately, a uh, situation down there where there's a push block. Those things take so long to actually push, though. So I think we're just gonna go down there, plant a bomb, then hopefully we'll have enough time to get, get out, because uh, I'm not gonna spend all my time pushing that thing. Please, a bomb, please. <laughs> we will get more money out of it, though. So that's nice. Well, I missed some of the money, but that was good, that was good. That was very good. Ropes. You know what? For one rope and one bomb, we get a lot of cash from this. I'm like, I'm very focused right now on getting as much value out of the bombs as possible. I mean, we just got four grand for a bomb and a rope. It's pretty good. If we can keep, you know, positive trades going up like this, then when we get to the black market, we can buy everything. That's the plan anyways. Ooh. He's not quite pissed. <laughs> okay, you stay there. Uh, this is this is probably bomb worthy just to get to the dog and the leprechaun. Please come here. You stole my money. <gasps> you got him though. Let's go! A little weird. It's also a sacrifice, which I'm loving right now. You have the shield, which doesn't crush, so I'm not that worried about it. Not as worried as I otherwise would be. You're alive. So there's climbing gloves. Beautiful. And now I have the shield. <laughs> Thank you. And the dog is right there. Well... Probably not where you want to stand. We'll get the dog. We don't have the Kapala yet. This will be the Kapala though. So that's like wonderful. That's a great floor for sacrificing. Brilliant, brilliant. And we just need some spike shoes or something. Buy more ropes. Oh. No, I just, I don't want the turkeys. I want this. Thank you. And you know, um, God, that's real good. I worry about this guy just getting real angry with me. <laughs> so you know what? We're just gonna go take a little trip. This is what I spent the, the, the ropes on. This is what I spent the money for the ropes on doing this little trek. That's what we're gonna call it. Might as well bomb as close to the money as possible. <laughs> You love to see it. You love to see it. I'm also thinking, like, is there a possibility that we can grab a uh, boomerang when we leave? Whoops. My bad. Because I would love to grab that boomerang. It's going to be hard to maybe maneuver around the plant, but... I was gonna say if we had the shield, we could use it, but I don't have the shield here anymore. I could go get it. You know what, there's a pot right here. That's actually kind of difficult to get to. Right, don't hit those. It's like, grab the shield. We'll get the boomerang. I see the, uh, the pot too, it's right there. The pot of gold. It's gold, Jerry, gold. I want the boomerang first. So do that. You know, let you have a fun trip down there. Kill you. It's also blood. And now we have a boomerang. We have a little bit of an upgrade. I think I got him.
You know, if I'm being really aggressive with uh, efficient bomb placement and whatnot, I think we want the pot of gold <laughs> for one bomb. Seems like a good deal. It's like 10,000 gold, I think. Yeah, 10,000 gold. Definitely worth it. And now we're out. Kapala, 5 HP. We have the paste. We have the climbing gloves. And the, uh, the compass tells us that there's a black market on this floor. Now there's another sacrifice. Oh lord. We don't need another sacrifice though. It would be nice. But we don't need it. Per, per, per se. I think I lost something. Well, let's go get our boomerang back. Hey, Kali, accept your sacrifice. Hopefully it wasn't a dog. That's been happening more and more lately, just random sacrifices. I kind of like it. Then again, I don't know if there's an item over there. I'm gonna have to go search just in case. Speaking of just in case, activating hired hands could be good here so that we might be able to get a, uh, a free sacrifice out of him, but you know, let's let's slow play it a little bit here. We got time. We got time. We also have 70,000 gold, which is not the most we've ever had, but it's good for now. And we can, you know, even do some more sacrificing and then maybe get some more money too. There's also a jetpack, which we're going to go buy right now. Oops. And now, we don't really need as many ropes as I was otherwise thinking we would. There's also another hired hand, but I like the... Let's just maybe sack the dog first, and then we'll work backwards from there. Wait, no, no shoes, huh? We can get spike shoes from... The ice caves, so I'm not like super, super worried about those. They're a nice to have, but they're not a requirement. Okay. Good sacrifices. Exactly what we wanted. Now again, there's the, the gold over on the right somewhere. Also want to kill things for, for blood. Also want to get the uh, child, so let's do this. Should have probably whipped a few times before I, I sacked, but you know what? I don't got, who's got time for that? I panicked and I threw a bomb and it worked. <laughs> I did not expect there to be a, a giant spider here, though. This is just a complete waste of time, huh? I also hate that we've had three pastes on this run. Some runs I don't get any paste. It's like, come on, come on. So this is what we want. Now that we have this, I'm like, Really, really, yeah, there's nothing else to level. So now we're gonna do backtracking back up to the black market. Now we have another, you know, 21 grand. Extra sticky bombs. <laughs> if it like blew up into cluster bombs, maybe I'd feel a little bit better about it. Hey, yeah, we just want bombs. We have the compass, we'll buy these bombs, we'll get those bombs bombs all around. We do have to go. I'll take it. I was really hoping for uh, shoes of some sort, but I'll take, I'll take pictures, man. 
To me, it's an item that we don't have, but we are absolutely gonna want at some point. This is like the easiest child of the forest of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a crate down there in the land of uh, the moon challenge. I love doing that. It's like the easiest goal of all time. It's also another shop with an oxalotl. I, I'm not gonna take the oxalotl because it's gonna get me killed because I'm not used to it. It's an interesting take for certain. I mean, maybe we could take it and whip it. Whip it good. Dun, 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 dun. But I don't think we need to get it, really. Ropes. There's a crate down here. If I have to use a bomb for it, I might. Yeah, I will now. If it's one... Was on fire 